doesn't matter what we're up against, as Sheffield folk, we work hard to get where we need to be. Sheffield as a place is resolute, it's strong. We call the Steel City for a reason. The people are strong, we are a, a typical working class city. It's home. I'm Billy Sharp, a.k.a. the fat lad from Sheffield. I'm Sheffield United striker. I'm very lucky to be the number 10 and captain of the club. Um, big Sheffield United fan, so it's a dream come true to be having the journey that I'm, I'm having so far. It's Sheffield United's living legend! It just had to be him! It's a welcoming city. It is working class, and even though there's two big clubs in the city, when it needs to be, it's together, and um, it's a great footballing city and a, and a nice place to live as well. I grew up near the training ground now, so it's an area called Pittsmore. Apart from a few years ago where it was my granddad who, who was the only one still living there. Don't really spend much time there anymore, but I know where I came from, my, my roots, and uh, it's why I'm here today. And, I'm grateful for the journey I've had, and all right, I might live in a, in a nice house now, but I, I'm still grounded, and like I said, I know where I've come from, and I've worked hard to get where I am today. Yeah, so this was my arena, basically. Um, it was a car park, but I used to knock around with a ball here every day. Used to have a field just up there. It's a little bit overgrown now, but yeah, everybody just used to congregate round here and play all sorts of games, but used to be more, more than likely was football. Just here, there's a garage wall that I used to, well, we used to draw chalk on the wall. And then there used to be a lamppost here, which is obviously really tall. And that was why he was named Carlton Palmer. Uh, he was the enemy, he obviously played for Sheffield Wednesday. So um, it's a little bit different from when I was a kid. Uh, things seem a little bit smaller and not as far away. Um, my nana and granddad used to live, what, seven doors away, just on the next block. and. It used to seem like it was far away from my house, but I suppose I've grown up and this is, feels like it's got smaller. But yeah, I had some good memories here. And uh, like I said, I don't, don't tend to come back anymore now because my nan and granddad are no longer here. So, um, fond memories of it, yeah. <laughs> you all right? Yeah, all right. That's sweet. What team, what team do you play for? What team? OK. All right. He's part of the city. He's not somebody who doesn't understand kids in the city. Um, he's quite happy to give things back. He's just one of them. Yeah, I used to live in this house here. That house. So I used to play on here, football all the time. Yeah. And on, this field used to be beautiful, nice short grass. Used to be like Bramal Lane, and now look at it. Can't even get on it, can you? Yeah. So when I was your age, I used to play football every day, dreaming to be a footballer. You know, I have a lot of people, especially the kids, saying I'm the hero, which one day I, I won't be a hero. So it's nice for the kids to look up to me. And that's why I, I set up my academy in, in Sheffield, because I wanted to, you know, give something back to the to community to, you know, to say thanks, really. It's taking his time to keep me quiet, look. <laughs> Thank you very much, Billy. No worries. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much. I love the people of Sheffield. I'm proud to be from Sheffield, playing for the for the team who I support, which I love. I love that feeling, and uh, hopefully it continues for a few more seasons to come. He's a local icon, isn't he? He's a legend. Uh, everybody loves Billy Sharp. He's loved by many and worshipped by more. <laughs> you can see it means a lot to him. He's a blade, as I'm a blade, and, and you can tell that he, he, he works hard for the shirt because of the badge on the front, not just because of the shirt that he's got on. He, he loves being a United fan and he loves playing for the club, you can see it. And clearly, he loves scoring goals. Oh, it's a sensational goal! Billy Sharp! One of my heroes, to be honest, not even a lie. Five days from Sheffield and Sheffield United fan himself, you can tell how much he puts into it and how much he loves the club himself. If you could take everything that epitomises a Sheffield United fan, roll it into a football player, you'd get Billy Sharp. His love for the club, his determination to do well, just the pride he gets when he puts the shirt on. He is Mr Sheffield United, and if there isn't a statue built for him, I don't know who else we can build one for, because he epitomises what it means to be a blade. Yeah, you're looking for 
me, not on one of these, because I'm on the front thing. Oh. I, I said the same, I said, where am I on them? But they said, you're at the front. As you can see, it gets narrower there, so I try and get the better of their captain, set the tone early, and because it's single file really up there, so then once you get to the top, I don't know, it, it just hits you. I have a tap at the badge just before you go out, and then it starts to build, and obviously then, as you get to the end of the tunnel, the big roar goes up, and yeah, it's, it's when it hits home and realises that it's, it's, honestly, it is, it's a traditional stadium. The club's improved it over the last five, six years, and uh, it's brilliant to play, brilliant place to play at. One of the first times was I tripped up, actually, when I was going up the stairs at the back of the cop. The steps are quite steep, and I fell over, and Dad had to pick me up. I think it was because I was so excited to see what it was like, and, and then, obviously, to, to go and play for the club and see people doing the same thing as what I did as a kid. It's, I don't know, it's a, just, it is a dream, and uh, I'm very lucky to, to be doing what I'm doing. Bits like this is why it's just a traditional stadium. It's uh, usually when you get in a stadium, you once you're in, you can't see out of out of the stadium. There's a few people who probably should have had statues. I don't know Brian Dean, Tony Curry, but he's got a stand named after him. So I don't know. I might I might get that toilet down there, the gents or something. <laughs> Sheffield United is church. Sheffield United is the release that everybody needs. It's the something in common that everybody's got, that is the one thing that people talk about in, in the pub. At some point, everyone will have a conversation about Sheffield United. With Sheffield, I think the club colours bleed into your everyday life. They dictate what area you live in, they dictate what pubs you go in. Football partly defines the city. You generally get a reaction out of people, even if they're not interested in football in the city. They will have some opinion. Football is just central to discussions in the city. This stand, the John Street stand, is where the old tunnel used to be. And I came on a school trip just before they knocked the stand down and redid it to this one. And the tunnel used to obviously be that side and I've got a photo running out of it. And, but then obviously to be able to run out as that one as, you know, the captain, it's... Yeah, it's unbelievable. Yeah, so these are the steel steps. Um, when you get to the top, there's a great view of Sheffield and over there in the distance, you can see Bramall Lane. Um, so I'm sure it's pretty nice for the fans when they're coming to the game. They can make the way down here, and it's not too far away to the stadium. I'm proud of being from Sheffield. I'm very fortunate to, to be able to play for Sheffield United, the team who I've supported, but it's nice to be a part of the, the sporting history of Sheffield, if you like, and yeah, like I say, I'm very proud to be from Sheffield, and it's nice to bring you to, to see some parts of Sheffield today. Everyone loves a local because we can feel what they're feeling. We know the passion they're feeling. We know the elation when the ball hits the net. And that connection from one of our own on the pitch, looking at us and feeling everything we're feeling, you can't write that in football. You have Hollywood scripts that don't meet that kind of emotion. And just as the, the airs on my arm are standing up, remembering that noise when he puts the ball in the net now, I bet he gets that every time he puts the ball in the net. And you can see it on his face. And if that don't make you love a local, nothing will. Really.